Hello guys, I will also be sharing with you some big updates from 3D Prisma Animation version 3.0. And with this new version, you'll have access to improved texture mapping and enhanced lighting effect in ways I believe you may find useful when compositing your 3D model animation. So without any further ado, let's begin. So the interface has also been made easy to navigate through, and also a default human model has been added for beginners, and I think this saved time and effort, making it easier to create a 3D character instead of starting from scratch. Time to break it down. An improvement has been made to the rotation panel, allowing users to easily rotate 3D objects. The material is where you add texture and color to your 3D objects. Over here is the undo and redo button. To go to the export menu, click on the arrow icon over here. You can now choose from various resolution options, including 2K, with many other helpful settings and options. You can also choose to export your project in vertical mode, which I find very cool. But unfortunately, these pro features, including watermark removal, are expected to be released soon. Click the plus icon to add an animation template, but currently only one option is available, and that's the walking animation. With this, I can easily create a walking animation from map A to Z. Increase animation duration by dragging the animation bar forward. You can also add walking direction by clicking on the plus icon here. This method allows me to easily bend the straight line to any position. It's super useful for creating smooth animation transitions. Take a look at the playback review. You can also add more map points to create multiple animation transitions to fit your desired style. To add precise direction, you can also rotate your 3D objects, but in this case it doesn't look natural. You can also split the animation bar by clicking the cut icon, which allow you to add more transition styles to your animation. The keyframe option displays the auto-generated rig, allowing you to modify or edit it to fit your desired style. Next. Prisma Animation app has improved the lights feature. This update makes texture materials look more detailed and realistic, making 3D objects appear more cinematic. Finally, the sky. This new lights feature allow you to create realistic sky effect, including dramatic sunset scenes, with a range of customizable options. The number value stopped at 24 which represents 24 hours. So, let's create a cinematic time-lapse animation. First, we'll add the animation bar. So, I'd like you to now pay close attention as I'm going to show you how to add keyframes to the number value in Other to create a time-lapse animation. By following these simple steps, we just created a stunning cinematic time transition. So here's a quick tip. Click on the keyframe panel, scroll up, and select the loop option. Now this option allows animation playback to continue without stopping. Click on the loop button again to undo this feature. You can also choose to add a curve to your keyframes for a smoother pacing. Now let's talk about 3D camera. Using the control panel, you can position your camera to different shot sizes. I'm going to quickly show you how to add realistic movement to the 3D camera. So I added the walking animation rig and next, I'm going to increase its duration to 5 seconds. Click on the jump in button to see how your shot size looks. Now I'm going to adjust the 3D camera to my preferred shot angle, and you can do that using hand gestures. Again click on the camera icon, 
over here to jump out of the camera view. This way, you can also use the control panel to move the camera angle and position to get an accurate camera shots. I'm gonna zoom out to widescreen to get a clear picture of the entire scene. To add camera movements, I'll add the animation bar. Since our walking animation is set to 5 second, I'll also expand the camera animation bar also to 5 seconds. Now we're going to add keyframes to the camera as we gradually track the character's movements. In addition, the visible line you see here shows the distance of the camera's movements. And with all that done, here's a playback review. I didn't see it coming, but yes. Audio option has also been added. You can now import sound to your 3D animation, including music and voiceovers, to make your animations more realistic and engaging. Next, exporting to OBJ format. You can now export your 3D model to 3D format, allowing you to continue building your 3D model in other animation apps or software. With the updated interface, here's a quick guide on how to render your 3D model to a green screen background. First, jump into the camera view, scroll up, and click on background. Now you can freely select the color background you want to apply to your 3D model. So, let's export the animation to see how it looks. And lastly, I'll share with you another interesting feature that's been added to the Prisma animation app, the Orbit Camera. This feature allows you to turn the head of your character left or right, and also to make adjustments to the character's facial structure. So let's give the Orbit Camera a little dance animation and see how it looks in motion. With all that done, here's a playback review. If you find this tutorial helpful, please give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay updated with more video tutorials. So until next time, peace.